Good evening. We continue to track these developing showers north of Blue Rapids and some locally heavy rain right along from Marysville northward on up into Nebraska. No severe weather, just a heavy downpour out of this. Don't expect uh, all that strong of breezes out of this either. There's another area of showers from near Seneca. Uh, extends on through southwestern Nemaha County almost to Manhattan with some very small developing showers along that band as well. This area of rain we're tracking to the east northeast to Okito by 611 home around 629 and on to Beatty by 645 before crossing into more of Nebraska. So what we're tracking are these isolated showers that are possible through tonight. And then again, another chance for some scattered showers returning for some of the area tomorrow. Still nice and sunny for the weekend. Really nice. The humidity is already coming down. It'll be even lower as we head into the next couple of days. Showers right around the Seneca area. Again, cloudy skies up to the north from our Spring Creek Golf Course Seneca Cam. We've got mostly cloudy skies, 79 degrees degrees in Topeka. No rain officially at the airport after a high today of 81 degrees. We continue to see temperatures ranging generally into the upper 70s and low 80s. 82 at Junction City and Council Grove. 80 degrees right now in the Holton area. Uh, we've been watching not only those scattered showers around, but I also wanted to show you how much rain has so far totaled up. Our weather watchers calling in as much as 0.99 inches of rain at Barnes today and about a quarter of an inch of rain coming in uh, in the Manhattan area. Cloud cover has been associated with this band of clouds rather widespread, although it thinned out for a while this afternoon. You're taking a look at where the showers are now redeveloping over the north central and northwestern counties. I showed you that on max track radar, that area of heavier rain. That's on the tail end of the system up to the north over Nebraska. It's going to backtrack and come right back into the area. And with that, we're tracking another chance for isolated showers again on Friday as that passes through. You'll see this on future track. Scattered showers at 7 o'clock from Seneca and Marysville southwestward to near the Junction City area. Most of that lifts into Nebraska, but watch what happens tomorrow. This is 6 a.m. Showers possible up north of Holton and then showers from Manhattan and Junction City westward during the late afternoon and evening hours, but a gradual clearing from east to west as that system moves away. Should clear out in time for most of the games, including the game of the week, Riverside at Perry Lecompton, because in the eastern counties will clear first, 75 in the first quarter and cooling back to 67 by the end of the game. Some of the western games may have a couple of showers if you're going to be headed out to those tomorrow evening. Generally all day, the chance of rain will be over the western areas, Manhattan, Fort Riley, Junction City, Clay Center, Marysville. Those areas will see a few showers, but a beautiful weekend, 81 on Saturday, 83 on Sunday, with lows down to around 58 this weekend. Should warm up to 85 on Monday and about that level on Tuesday before cooling back into the upper 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. It's good to hear the humidity will kind of be going away. Yeah, it's already dropping and should stay low through the next seven days. All right, thanks, Brian.